Hello everyone, my name is FlamingMouth007 and today I'm going to be showing you how to use chain command blocks. So just like in the last video, to get a command block, you type in slash give at s command block and then once you have your command block you can go over to the area that you want to put it and then we can switch the block type to chain which makes it have this tealish hue. Now everything else is pretty much the same for an impulse command block. You have needs redstone, delay and ticks, command input, and previous output, hover note. And something I'm going to be mentioning today is condition. So I made this chain of commands with an impulse, with a summon command, a chain command block, with summon command, um, the, the kill command, and then the set block command. Now if you want to have a chain of commands, you gotta have an impulse and then however many chain command blocks you want. So that if you were to flick a lever, it would run all the commands one after another. But in order for your chain command block to I guess be useful is you gotta have its redstone section always active which it will not run the command repetitively or it won't run it instantly because how chain command blocks work is they, they sense whenever the previous command block has run its command so until the previous command block has run its command that command block will not do so as well. So you gotta set all your chain command blocks to always active. And then you can flick the lever. But say you don't want it to all happen at once. Then you can leave this command block alone, but go to the next one and put in a tick delay. Now remember, ticks are 1 20th of a second, or 20 ticks in one second. So say I want this delay to be half a second, this to be 3 seconds, and then this to be 1 second. So that, whenever I flick the lever, that will happen. Now, if you're, you have a chain of commands, and for some reason, one of them doesn't work, the rest will still continue. Which, if you, if you have something that's really precise, you probably don't want that to happen. So then, you can set the condition to from unconditional to conditional, which it will change the texture slightly. And what that does is it won't run the command until the previous command block has run its command successfully. If it a fails to run the command or B doesn't run the command successfully 
then the command block won't it won't do its command but other than that that's pretty much all there is to chain command blocks i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope it helped and please tell your friends about my videos and this is the end of the tutorial